Although the analyst represents the Matrix's new system of control, he was just a servant of the suits, entities that make the decisions from the shadows. But who are they? Why did the analyst desperately try to grab the black cat when Neo and Trinity united? There are questions about the Matrix that don't have answers. Thus why we created this series of videos where we try to answer the questions sent by our fans. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Today's first question comes from John Anderson 529 What do you think is the significance of the black cat called Deja Vu? Why does the analyst go for it when he was trying to escape from Smith in the end? In the previous trilogy, there were several theories about the cat. We know that it appears when there is a change in the Matrix. Neo mistakes it for Deja Vu. What did you just say? Nothing, just a little Deja Vu. What is it? A deja Vu is usually a glitch in the Matrix. It happens when they change something. The cat also appeared after Neo defeated Smith. The feline is used to reset the simulation. Originally, we saw the cat as the personification of the architect, a figure that would appear whenever the architect modified something in the simulation. But we also theorized that it could be a separate program. The Matrix Resurrections appear to confirm that the cat is indeed a standalone program that is used by the simulation's manager as a tool to change the Matrix. Neo can change the simulation using the anomaly's code. In other words, it's like hacking the system. But both the architect and the analyst have administrative privileges, and the cat is a tool used by the administrators so they can do what Neo does, modify the Matrix at will. In Matrix 4, we see how the cat appears when Smith wakes up and tries to kill Neo. Although the analyst later made Neo believe that he was a simple cat that Neo was projecting into his delusions. Then we saw the feline when Smith attacked the analyst, and the analyst frantically tries to reach for the cat. This again implies that the cat is a separate program, and the analyst needed it to reset reality. At the end of the movie, we see Neo carrying and petting the cat. This means two important things. The first is that the analyst no longer has the means to change reality. He has lost his privileges. And second, Neo can change the simulation legitimately using a Matrix program. Now that we know more about the Deja Vu cat, we are also left with some more questions, like how the architect could control it remotely, but the analyst must have contact with the cat to activate it. Our next question comes from Grizzly Travis. Who exactly are the suits that the analyst refers to? The use of the word suits has several meanings. One is that it's a meta joke. Matrix 4 constantly makes references to our reality, such as the case of the use of the word suits by the analyst. Neil Patrick Harris rose to fame for his character Barney Stenson on the series How I Met Your Mother. Two of his defining characteristics were that he almost always wears suits and his catchphrase, suit up. Lesson one, lose the goatee. It doesn't go with your suit. I'm not wearing a suit. Lesson two, get a suit. Suits are cool. Exhibit A. Hey, meet me at the bar in 15 minutes and suit up! Where's your suit? Just once when I say suit up, I wish you'd put on a suit. Now beyond the inside joke, in the Matrix lore, the characters that wear suits usually represent high-ranking programs. In the first movie, there were the agents. In Matrix Reloaded, we met another well-dressed individual, the creator of the simulation, the architect. In the Matrix comic, A Path Among Stones, we met Dr. Fry, another high-ranking suit whose role was similar to that of the analyst. So we think that these high-ranking programs or machines usually dress formally when inside the Matrix. In Matrix Resurrections, the suits are mentioned twice. The first is when the analyst tells Neo that he had to convince the suits to rebuild him. First, I had to convince the suits to let me rebuild the two of you. Why her? Getting there, and don't worry, she can't hear me. This scene shows us that the analyst worked for other entities he calls suits. Possibly they are the machine leaders. There is also the possibility that the architect is one of these suits. And the second time the suits are mentioned is when Trinity has a conversation with the analyst. 
You tried to activate the failsafe? The suits tried, obviously without control of your source code. I knew that was impossible. So why haven't the suits purged you? Because I know the system. I know human beings. And I know you. That last thing the analyst mentions of how the suits didn't purge him because of his knowledge of humans reveals that the suits are entities that exist outside of the simulation, possibly the leaders of the machine cities. And our last question of the day comes from Nikola Blesvik. How did Bugs know who Morpheus was? And how did she believe him when he told her that? Bugs knew all about Neo, Trinity, Morpheus, and the group thanks to the descendants of the people who admired Neo and documented the events of the previous war. Some of those people are still alive in Io, like Niobe. This is how Bugs and her team recognized what was happening in the model. We know the story. This is how it all began. God damn it. This is where he began. If that's supposed to be Trinity, that's not what happens. The new Morpheus explained to Neo that he learned everything about him in the construct. I've been chilling here in the ship network, learning all about you. And me. So it is safe to assume that the entire history of Zion, the One, and the War is documented and stored in the construct. But before being a red pill, Bugs saw the real Neo. She saw past his fake digital self-image. Bugs' ability is to see beyond first impressions, beyond the physical, and see what is supposed to be. And this is how she could recognize Morpheus and accept him without question. Bugs knew that this new Morpheus will lead her to Neo because she is a believer. Now we must understand that when the new Morpheus introduced himself to Bugs, Bugs knew that he wasn't the real Morpheus, but that he will fulfill the same role as Morpheus. He will lead her to Neo. But do you agree? Who are the suits that the analyst answers to? Leave in the comments below what other questions you would like us to answer. The place where you live is not the place you once dreamed of. Are you sick of your hot and filthy Zion apartment? Then we have the solution for you. Bad credit or criminal history? We can wipe your slate clean and give you a fresh start. We at Mega City Realty can find you the most luxurious real estate where you can spend hours playing your favorite virtual reality video game, eating the most delicious meals and having an endless supply of blue medications. What are the blue pills for? No need to worry because you will be bathing in the most phenomenal bathtub with the best view of the city and only minutes away from the best cafeteria in the city. Why wait? Contact one of our agents and be reconnected to the home of your dreams. Mega City Realty. Offer valid while the truce lasts. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.